Right, we are up and running. Well, kia ora, tēnā koe. Thought I'd throw a bit of a Maori greeting to you. Kia ora is g'day, tēnā koe is pretty much the same. And if I'm saying it too many, it's tēnā koto. Kia ora is both singular and pl plural. So anyway, uh, what I want to do is uh, welcome you to my to Esword, and we're going to show what I would like to do is do a bit of a tutorial on how to customize Esword to the way that you would like it to be, especially the interface of how you want it to be laid out and everything like that. So that is what I will be doing. So after having installed eSword and everything like that, well, you boot her up. So I, I reset eSword before just so to demonstrate what I'm getting at. So we boot eSword up when it wants to go. And so that's what you get. Very little. All right? And you get the tooltip and things like that. And you can, if you really want to, don't know, you can ch check that. But what I usually do after having in done a fresh install of eSword is just check that off and go OK and that's it. So that's what you get. All right. So we'll blow that up uh, right like that. And so there you go. So the first thing you would like to do is to actually install some resources. Well, I'm not going to show you how to install resources, but what I want to do before I show you how to how to customize the way you want eSword to look, right? Like having all of these the way you want it to look, I'm going to just do add my resources up and I will have to definitely restart ESOL. So uh, this is a bit of a thingy for you to do and so what we're going to do is we go to options, is it? Yeah. Resource settings and then we're going to change that from there. See program files to uh, that there. I don't want that one, but I want the D drive documents. Uh, eSword. Click on resources and we go OK and got to restart it. So that's what we're going to do now. Oops, hang on, uh, before we do that, uh, options, better go back to there and change that to where I normally have it. Not there, not there. Just totally pull it out there and then back to D. Do, whoops, documents. E sword. Projects. Projects. Yeah, just in projects. Okay. Okay, so we've got to. Uh, restart eSword again. There. Then rebooting eSword. 
Here we go, Esau. The sword of the Lord with a shocking edge gives you an electric shock, you see, <laughs> because it's got an electronic edge. Here we go. I really like, so as you can see now, now we're cooking with gas. We've got everything that we want. And in the NKG, that's one. That's my favourite one. And then I. So. Now I think he options. Display settings. Uh, we don't want the red letter. We don't want the pericope. And kick that off too. And then because I don't like the font, that is the default font, so fonts get changed as well. This is how I do things. So we're going to set this up the way that I want it displayed. So, uh, see what we want is options. Click on font settings, right. Want the thing for the font settings to change. Want the font settings to change. Font settings to change. Here we go. So the default font where we want, that's for all that there. So what I have that set at is our Times New Romans at 12, 10, Verdun editor fonts, the same Times Roman. Editor font size, and for that I'll just leave that there at there for the time being, and we go OK like that, and then And that's that there, so we'll go back to study notes, that's the, 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 yeah. Yeah, leave that off, I don't want to synchronize, synchronize anything. So we'll just leave it there, and then what we will do is then now begin to change things around. So, oh hang on, yeah, no I didn't that, yeah, no, no I don't, so let's go options. Display scripture tooltip, yep. Display strong number, yeah. Display navigation, bookmark navigation, yeah. That's the one that I don't want. And then. Alright, what? Oh, yeah. Say search terms, nah. Um. Options, random startup, yeah, that, that's about it, uh, app, app themes, yep, that's the way that I want it done, that one, that's pretty one, much the default one, plus I like that colour, and so what we do is then, right, all of that is done, okay, so, yeah. Right, now that we've done that, now we want to get things looking the way that I wanted. And by the looks of these two here, 
so what we will do is first one is to I thought I had version 13, let's have a look at what we have here. 13. Yeah. <laughs> the new update. Got to, <laughs> got to seriously have a look at that. But I will do that afterwards. So after uh, uh, that. So anyway, but um, we have that, and so what we want to do is to change things around a bit and adjust things. So first of all, this can be a d down to about uh, there. Yep, down to about there. Right. That's that. That's good enough there. I'll bring that to about here. Right, now what's going to be doing with this is, I actually know, it can come out to about, I would say, about here. Or maybe a little bit more to about there. Yeah, that'll, that looks better. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to, we've got those two the way that they are, but these two here, the commentary and that is going to be different. So what we're going to do is click on that and drag it. Now what you will notice, are these things popping up here, right? Even there, there and there and you have like these things here where you can put them and you can make them as a tab and things like that so but what I'm going to do is with the commentary is I'm going to put it over there right that's the commentary now that <laughs> the commentary section is way too small so what we want to do is to bring you up to around about I want to bring you back to about there. 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 To about. I think that's it. Any more buttons after that? No, no more buttons after that. And then we can bring you there. Yep, that's fine there. And then we bring the editors. Point, 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 point. That's about right. So that's how you change your display settings. You just, and the good thing about this, now, you want your Bible view here. Now, another thing is that you can do is what, is that, is that if you want your Bible view maximized, this is maximizing it, you just click on here. You want your commentary maximized, you click it there. If you want your dictionary maximized, you click it there. And then if you want your editor maximized, you click that there. And this one here, show all windows, you just click that back. And everything there that you've adjusted even returns to the way you like it. Actually, you 
You can go, actually, yeah, that's about better there. And we can go to about... Yeah. Yep, that looks a lot better. So, once you've done that, now, you can even tab these. So, it's actually tabbing something. So, you want your dictionary tab, a Windows tab. You want these on sort of like more on a fuller display. So, you can put it on the central one there. And you will notice on the bottom left, bottom left hand corner there, there on the Bible view, it's sort of tabbed. So what you do there, put it there and then you release it and there's your dictionary view there, there's your Bible view there and etc. And then, so to take it back, hold on the tab and then you then put it up there. There's your view. So that's basically how you can customise uh, customize your windows to the way that you want things laid out um, for doing work on your, for doing work in eSword. Um, And, and so, yeah, and so having it that way, it just gives you the, 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 the best way that you can work. You, on your, yep, that's a lot better. Uh, on your notes, you see everything like this, having that as a column, then you could do. But, uh, yeah, so by having it like as in columns here, like with your commentary and things like that, you can even change it around to where you can have your uh, editor on that side and, your, uh, and things like that, because all it takes is just to... Go like that, there, <laughs> you know, and and then you, then you can have it even going all the way across there like that, as <laughs> well if you want to, or or uh, all the way up here, wherever you want it to go, it will go. That hit. <coughs> But that's basically how you, uh, basically how you can actually um, customize the layout of your windows. So it doesn't have to be the default setting the way that you saw it. Um, as you noticed before, when I changed the directories of where of resources, you don't have to have. <coughs> Your resources in, uh, in, in the default um, eSword folder on your C drive, on your main drive, but you can have it on another drive. And the fact is, this is, this is what I found too, is that when you change the drives for your resources, it's... I find is a lot more protected for, for, for when it comes to your resources, especially your study notes. If you're doing study notes or topic notes or your journal note or journal notes, right? Having it on a separate drive is a lot better because it those files that you do, your study files, note your study notes and your topic notes are Put that one up. Uh, your study notes, or your topic, uh, uh, all your all your all your work files that you do on a separate drive. If something goes wrong on your C drive, you're not going to lose it because they're all on a separate drive. 
Moreover, and here is my suggestion, and which I really suggest that you do, is that you actually, um, is that you actually um, back up your, your, well, you back up your resources because you don't want to lose your resources. So back them up, put them, uh, you know, doing a simple backup like and and that like. Um, I have it here, I have it here, I have it, I know I have it. Here, somewhere. I do. Having your resources on something simple like one of these thingies, which is called a thumb drive or, a, or, or whatever else that you call it, and you just... There you go. On one of these, you uh, one of these USB drives... And then you just plug it in your USB and then you drag and drop it over there, uh, drag and drop it onto your C drive and things like that. So you can back up your resources like that. Important that you have one of these. This, this, this one is a pretty generously a good size one. It's a 16 gigabyte size. And if you've got more resources than 16 gigabytes, well, so you can get a 32 gigabyte uh, thumb drive or something like that. Or you can get a... Um, um, a portable hard drive that you can just plug into your uh, USB port and, and stuff like that and stuff, put stuff on, on that and then you can get anything up to around about 5 terabytes in size. So there's a lot of things that you can do in that respect. So from that, from that basis, my thinking is this, is that... Um, What was my thinking on this? Oh yeah, that's right. That way you keep yourself safe. That way you keep yourself protected from anything that could go wrong. I've had hard drives uh, collapse on me before uh, and things like that. And it was only just um, uh, about this time last year is when one of my hard drives decided to go bung on me that I had to get a brand new hard drive. Praise God that I had resources, all my resources backed up onto this little beautiful thingy there and I was able to restore that back onto my hard drive, not like lost any data whatsoever. So that's really, really important. So praise God for that. Uh, so I think on that note, I think we're done and dusted and so what I will do is, glory to God, uh, end this video here and I trust that you will be blessed and have a great time. God bless you. God love you heaps and ka kite ana oweakwe. Boom. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that name. Oh, that name. Oh, that name.